Hey guys, welcome to the Lux channel. So this is quite off topic. Uh, I thought uh, let me shoot a video episode uh, of my uh, DIY project which I am uh, uh, intended uh, to do with uh, Raspberry Pi. I have options I can do with Arduino, but uh, as uh, you guys know, I am a lover of you know full fledged operating system. You can do that uh, with some kind of uh, non OS uh, microcontroller. Uh, based platform but uh, having an operating system it gives that full uh, you know uh, flexibility i'm not bothered about uh, you know uh, uh, power consumption and various other things which you get an advantage if you use a tiny microcontroller for a sort of you know project like this so what i got today is uh, entire uh, ro uh, uh, water purifier kit uh, ro stands for as you guys know reverse osmosis so i got this kit uh, uh, recently and this contains everything uh, minus uh, uh, its electrical part i should be getting it uh, sometime uh, you know um, by uh, you know this week or so so which is fine but the most important part is this entire kit uh, so i got uh, myself along with this uh, my uh, raspberry pi kit uh which has you know raspberry pi and other stuff uh, including uh, memory cards and i can do uh, you know various things uh, uh, with that uh, so uh, the main uh, intent of this uh, uh, diy project is about uh, uh, building an ro system and at the same time give some kind of uh, iot uh, based intelligence and uh, control mechanism so that uh, initially you can do uh, something like uh, you can automate the process uh, uh, from the remote you can uh, turn on and turn off uh, through a smartphone uh, through a web gui or stuff like that and other than that uh, you can also implement uh, something like a flow meter and stuff like that see i got some couple of uh, links for you guys so you can see here uh, this is a you know small uh, flow meter so i can employ something like this you can have uh, some kind of water uh, flow meter and uh, along with that i can even do something uh, uh, where i can uh, incorporate a tds uh, sensor as well so the tds uh, uh, sensor is something like this so this is a uh, tds sensor so with tds sensor as you can see here if you you know search you can see here uh, you can uh, buy it online uh, through amazon or uh, things like that and uh, Uh, with this uh, TDS meter, uh, you can uh, check the total dissolved solids. So with that, uh, we can analyze the, uh, the uh, you know water quality, and uh, based on that, we can fine tune the system so that uh, what level of filtration we need. Suppose if you filter with uh, uh, raw groundwater, uh, you need to uh, take care of this aspect, and if you filter uh, which is already. Uh, uh, a corporation supplied tap water then you don't need to get aggressive because uh, it is quite permissible but on the downside it may have a high amount of chlorine and other kind of impurities so which is the reason we have various kinds of filters since the camera doesn't capture this let me just move this away we got all this filter uh, this is one filter uh, this is another filter let me just remove this wrapper this is another filter and uh, this is another filter you can see here so each has its own role i don't want to go much in depth because this project is all about uh, automating this entire stuff but before even doing so uh, since i got this kit i thought let me just discuss few things about it so i got these three uh, filters so the end objective is uh, these three filters uh, uh, with this uh, tool whatever they provided you can just put it inside like this and then you can use this tool and you can fix it to this unit whatever they provided so you can see here this is for these three filters and uh, sometimes you can add additional filters if the water is too murky or you need to avoid some kind of maintenance or something like that so it's just you can do any kind of diy the way you want but this is something very basic it comes as a whole like a kit so you can see here it has this uh, main ro unit and at the same time it has also this uh, taste and order reduction unit so other than that let me just 
walk you through various filters because this is something uh, where we can decide in future how we can automate these things and how we interconnect with uh, raspberry pi intelligence so if you have uh, so you can see here uh, this is uh, a sediment filter so the first water should come through this filter and then uh, it will stay for some time so any kind of uh, uh, murky water will get to an extent it gets cleaned with this and you can see here it has this uh, sort of you know uh, filter you can see here so this uh, uh, filter will remove any sort of you know visible sediment uh, uh, impurities and stuff like that so anything which is little bit murky in color which gets filtered with the same so effectively since this is the first filter you may need to kind of maintain the same you need to flush and uh, you know maintain and uh, wash once in a while so other than that we have this next filter which is which contains uh, uh, this filter's name is a CTO cartridge filter as you can see here uh, you can uh, google this and uh, anyway you can read about it CTO filter so you can see here you can uh, get information about the same so what I believe is uh, this uh, contains uh, some kind of uh, coconut uh, shell pieces or something like that so again uh, this will uh, take away some amount of impurities so once it is done with this sediment filter the water should pass through this filter so once this is done you can see here it is wrapped up with this sheet so before installing uh, i need to remove everything and then i need to put inside and again here there is a provision you can see here and uh, it exactly fits over there so that water will come from here and it goes out through this you know port so next we have this important filter this contains uh, the activated uh, charcoal you can see here it sounds like a rain stick so this contains activated charcoal as we know activated charcoal removes uh, order and uh, uh, with the increased surface tension it is going to uh, purify further water and it is going to uh, remove any kind of uh, you know bad taste and uh, any order in the water so this is the last filter before it gets over here so once it is passed across all these filter and eventually you are going to get a pump here that is why i'm saying it misses that electrical part which i'm going to cover once it is all put together so it is going to have a pump and to drive the pump you need to have some kind of power supply so the pump goes here somewhere here and the pump uh, will effectively increase the pressure of the water so that it can pass through this ro membrane because this membrane is quite uh, thick and it needs some amount of pressure so that it can uh, push through that membrane and then it can push that water out so uh, this is the overall arrangement and of course uh, this contains some kind of you know crystal so that it removes that uh, uh, further taste and order so there is a sort of controversy some people say ro is bad some people say ro is fine because uh, some, the reason they say it is bad is it excessively purifies the water so that uh, you no longer have any vital uh, minerals uh, in the water and uh, it kind of depletes uh, uh, minerals in your body again it depends uh, if you have really ground uh, water uh, hard water sometimes you need this if you are getting very good water supply uh, from the corporation uh, uh, in uh, bangalore we get it uh, kaveri water generally it is uh, a sweet water by itself it's not a hard water but it has been treated with chlorine and other stuff and uh, in any case you need to filter that water as well so in that situation sometimes you don't need this ro unit you just need <laughs> you know these three units so that it removes all that uh, impurities in the water but essentially you don't need to strip out its you know mineral deposits so which is again the place where you need this you know tds meter if it is still above the permissible limit so then you need to check with this and if it is uh, uh, within the limits then you don't need to in fact push through this ro unit you just need to push through this filters and this is where we can provide that intelligence in raspberry pi uh, if the water source is uh, groundwater then we can push through this ro unit uh, and if the water source is uh, 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 the tap water 
then uh, we can just uh, you know get it out through this filter and uh, we can pump it into a reservoir so uh, you can uh, connect this uh, filter quite easily uh, it comes with this o-ring so that it is uh, watertight and uh, uh, just for demonstration i am removing this uh, filter so what you can do is you can just screw over here again if you notice uh, let me just point towards the camera you, it has this you know o-rings here so this is going to get coupled over here so effectively it is going to be completely watertight so you can just you know fit this way it's quite heavy <laughs> so you can just fit this way and then uh, you can uh, tighten it uh, with this uh, tool so you can just tighten it so that way you can install all these three filters so let me just remove it yeah so this way you can uh, connect this uh, filter so, so as i said again uh, this uh, you need to remove this wrapper before installing the same and uh, you can sometimes uh, uh, run uh, the water for some time so that uh, it gets saturated and it gets uh, uh, any kind of uh, residual order it will remove it after some time uh, uh, after flushing it for some time then you can start uh, use that water for consumption and <laughs> you know uh, uh, as well you can collect it in a reservoir so the entire objective of this type of filter is uh, you have this industrial look if you search uh, ro water filter you get various options so sometimes you can have a unit like this uh, the unfortunate thing about this unit is it comes with a small uh, filter unit so often you need to maintain the same rather than having something like you know like this and uh, if you get a little industrial uh, you you may have even uh, filters uh, like this big so this again going to be the same type of filter but its size is going to be bigger so effectively you can use an option like that in case if you need it for some kind of uh, large scale industrial use or uh, maybe it's for uh, meant for restaurant or something like that but in a typical home use uh, this is more than enough yes of course you need to maintain them once in a while you need to flush them and at the same time you can change this uh, filter once in a while uh, once it gets you know uh, 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 murky and uh, <laughs> the water may get collected dirty water may get collected sometimes you can just open it and uh, you know flush it out and once it is saturated with lot of debris and dirt then you can change the filter as well so that is something you need to do as a part of maintenance but i would recommend than you get something like this better you can get a bit bigger version like this you know so that you don't need to maintain too often even for a home use so the objective is to automate whichever way you want as i said earlier you can channelize whichever way you want uh, if it is uh, uh, you need to uh, you know process through ro unit you can uh, pump through the same or not you can directly get it out through this filter so that it is filtered tap water but essentially you don't need to you know push through the ro unit other than that uh, you can uh, generally automate you can put some kind of tds sensor you can see here i found this interesting uh, product uh, it is something compatible with arduino and some or other means uh, we can even uh, you know uh, interface uh, uh, with raspberry pi and i need to still uh, do some research about the same and uh, you can see here it's a tds sensor and what we can do is we can hook such a sensor uh, before treating this water and then we can hook the sensor once it is treated and this way we can do some kind of comparison and we can even plot some kind of uh, graph that what we are getting in and uh, essentially what it is going out and the same way if it is hard water then we can uh, regulate its other parameters and then we can fine tune its you know filtration process so this is one part and then you can uh, incorporate some kind of flow meters uh, let me search a flow meter raspberry pi flow meter you can see here i get uh, various products like this you can see here uh, uh, we can incorporate something like this which again i need to do some uh, research before i place an order and uh, buy the same so this again we can use uh, uh, to check uh, how much uh, 
uh, you know uh, the water is uh, been filtered out and uh, that way we can do some kind of automatic uh, on off uh, control and uh, stuff like that and besides we can also provide some kind of uh, Uh, way because with the web gui of course uh, we can uh, connect it through smartphone or uh, through the system uh, remotely we can anyway turn it on and off and uh, we can automate the process we can also incorporate any kind of timer so that uh, so and so time it just turns on automatic and then it filters the water and then it again turns off so anything is uh, possible once you uh, incorporate the same as a part of your uh, you know iot uh, project so that's the objective of this uh, entire uh, uh, diy so i'm going to shoot uh, uh, an upcoming episode an update of the same once everything i put together i'm going to shoot one more update uh, video of the same uh, so that i can give more details about the electrical part and uh, i'm going to do one thing uh, i'm going to fix the electrical part and i'm going to fix everything and then i'm going to shoot one video before even getting you know raspberry pi into this picture so hope you guys loved watching this video thanks a lot for joining me stay tuned have a nice day bye bye